Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, indices. And as you can see, we have a new platform. And the main reason why we have this new platform is because eToro basically broke down and has been uh, down for several, several hours, which is an absolute scandal, to be very honest. So um, I had to look for another platform and found markets. Then this platform is also just fine for technical analysis. Actually, really good, uh, easy to, uh, to, uh, to uh, navigate around to different uh, indices, uh, commodities, and uh, com uh, cryptocurrencies, and you have technically all the indicators that you need in order to trade. So we'll start by looking at the US, uh, the US indices, and then we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And this has been an absolutely horrible day to trade. One of the worst days, I probably have to go all the way back to March last year in order to find a day similar to this one. You can see this kind of candlestick here. We broke down all the way to uh, 3,811 and then found massive support and then rallied above the 50 moving average. We're trading at 3,878 at the moment. Technically, they are still bearish. So it looks like a very bullish candlestick. I don't think that this is going to be the end of this. I still think that there's still going to be a lot of noise, a lot of choppiness. There's so much um, activity on, for example, the cryptocurrency market that is completely falling apart at this point. And uh, then also the big uh, tech companies that also are very, very overvalued that are just bursting like similar to most of those uh, cryptocurrencies. So we could expect a lot of choppiness the coming days. However, we are in an uptrend. This is a massive pullback. What we have seen these pullbacks in, in the past. Uh, 4,000 is still the target at this point. So uh, yes, if these technical leaders can turn around, then we will most likely head towards 4,000. Otherwise, um, yes, we could also head back towards uh, 3,800 before going back to 4,000. So let's look at the Dow Jones that should be here. So the Dow Jones also fell towards the red line here, which is the 50 moving average, and then rallied quite significantly. We're only down 0.04 at this current stage. We're trading at 31,541. Technically, indicators, they are very flat. Both the MACD, Stochastic, and, uh, and the RSI are all pointing, basically a flat at this point, or pointing to lower levels. Uh, we have been trading uh, basically sideways for the last uh, few weeks. And um, at this point, 50 moving average, definitely major support. And the target to the, uh, to the upside is uh, 32,000, probably 32,500 if we can get this going to the upside. So let's look at the tech stocks. So. Most of the action has been here. So we have had this massive sell off all the way from uh, 13,904 all the way down today towards 12,772. And then we rallied and now we're trading at 13,160, 60, 60. Yes, we're to start with this. Uh, first of all, we went way outside of the Bollinger Band and then we rallied. So we got significantly overstretched. However, I don't think that this is going to be the end of this. I don't see this pulling back all of the sudden. We may go drifting back towards the lower levels here. Probably not as low as we got today, but we could go towards the lower part of the Bollinger Band and then head back towards 14,000 or 15,000. Technical indicators, for example, stochastic is turning around. The RSI is still very, very, uh, very bearish at this point, and so is the MACD is very bearish at this point. So yes, we're not out of the wood yet, woods yet. This is a um, if you were um, if you were day trading this, then yes, you could have made a lot of money. Um, however, this was just a lot of volatility and almost nearly impossible to trade at at uh, different stages. Um, there were some major major. Um, losses in the for example neo went down with 16 percent when the when the market opened tesla went down over 10 percent when the market opened and that should be a major major warnings for most of these uh, of those companies because that is more behavior of cryptocurrencies 
and not major corporations. Um, company like Tesla should not be uh, basically behaving similar to a cryptocurrency, and they have basically, well, almost combined themselves with uh, with uh, Bitcoin. Every time you're going to hear Bitcoin dropping now or increasing, then you're going to see Tesla doing the same because there now is a uh, probably a, a, a positive correlation between uh, that company and that cryptocurrency. That will just make things extremely volatile for Tesla stock. So let's look at the DAX issue here. We also broke down all the way to 13,671 and then rallied. We're trading at 13,869 at this current stage. Technical indicators are fairly all over the place. Stochastic is turning around here. MACD is negative and so is the RSI. So we could also drift lower towards 14,600 or the lower part of the Bollinger Band here before going higher. This does not look bullish in any way whatsoever. Even though we had this rally at the end, it still is looking very bearish at this point. Yes, so we have the UK 100. We have been basically all over the place. Uh, we rallied above the 20 exponential moving average. We have found support at the 50. And now we're basically settled right in between this. If you look at technical indicators, they are turning around to the upside. So we, there is a bullish momentum in this indice. So I do favor the upside as the 50 moving average has acting as major support in this in this case. However, we are very close to the bullish band, so it doesn't have to have a lot of movement to the upside before we run into resistant. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see your newest videos, and you're welcome to join us on Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.